good morning welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel this is eccentric rockstar seed and i'm here with another collective creative mind boggling mind intriguing message keep in mind take what resonates leave what doesn't guess what pop, what stuck out to me today was my watermelon tourmaline it's about love balance and clarity talks about relationships are the currency of life and this raises awareness of soul agreements and your impact on other people's life and this is a crystal that supercharged is supercharged to activate the heart chakra it's creating a divine connection between you and your higher self like the watermelon it teaches you to enjoy the sweetness of life remembering good things often take time to ripen so this balances masculine and feminine feminine energies, connecting your heart chakra to both the physical and spiritual aspect of yourself. All right, so communication, say something nice. You got Gemini and Virgo. You could have Gemini and Virgo in either your Venus or your Saturn could be ruled by Gemini or Virgo. Now, what's the psychology of that? It's to find clues to help you get nearer to your dreams. And remember, the best clues are often disguised. What clues can you find today? Say something nice. So what are you doing in your solace? Or solace? S-O-L-A-C-E. You're connecting with crystals. You could be a master number 11. Okay? Connecting with family. Or your family could be at a long distance. Or you could be praying with your family over the phone. And 23 could be significant, but it also breaks down to a 5. I feel like this is a mental connection between, uh, I feel like a, a spiritual connection between the womb and the child is being reconnected. So a mother and her child or a mother and her daughter could be a son too. It doesn't have to be. It's strengthening, it's re-strengthening. It was never broken because that's the womb that borns you. It can never be broken, but it's, it's strengthening. It's like it might have went like this for a little while, like stretched out of shape, but now it's going back together in harmony like this. Like, look at the picture. Look at what I'm talking about. You see the roots? She's connecting with her ancestry. I think the, your ancestors may have spoken to a parental figure and is bridging the gap between a mother and her child. Still here, soul to soul, back to life. Now, the, my color today is pink and green change because change is progress okay and what's on the bottom change kindred spirits change you got the owl in the picture with change i see purple on like like some of these cards have like it looks more brown or green this one looks purple it has a lot of purple hues in it that screams intuition to me but then when i looked at the family card this purple is what sticks out to me too on the mother's hair but look at her third eye she has a, the third eye thing okay and the owl represents wisdom and then you have kindred spirits connect with crystals are you talking to a deceased loved one perhaps or they're showing up in your dreams like you got new gifts coming in or manifesting like new gifts in you new strengths new gifts but I don't think it's coming in a way that you can readily identify with but it's, it's changed nonetheless how, I don't know I guess this is like how are you called to handle changes like I said 23 can break down to a five five represents change so changing your family dynamic you're changing your family dynamic so you can come from a family that is a bunch of individuals that everybody is a you can come from a big family but you got like say you got like seven or eight siblings but none of them are bonded together it's like everybody's in a separate corner with their own kids so everybody has individual families inside of this family 
Like nobody's close. I think you might be kindred spirits with your family. It could mean that. Mm. Affirmations is important for existing relationships. You can be amplifying your horizon for meeting new people. I think somewhere in your travels, because this has a butterfly on it, somewhere in your travels and meeting people who are like-spirited like you, you may have met, you're networking with people who are, who have similar experiences as you. And it's, it has healing elements. Those people are helping you heal. Five, five, five on the camera when I said that. But those people are healing you. You and as you ponder, you know, you meta, you're getting clarity. With the, using your crystals, it's kind of like clearing out the energy so you can receive. This is. I feel like somebody's mother is deceased and they're speaking to her. They're showing up spiritually. Like she could be around you somewhere. I don't mean to freak nobody out or sound like, a, like I'm making an innovation, but somebody's intuitively speaking to their mother. That's a mother figure or a grandmother or a great grandmother. I hear, I even hear a great aunt. Nonetheless, you meet people that have similar experiences and you're learning a lot from these people and it's propelling you forward. And it's helping you change the dynamic of your own personal family experiences. This one may not be a long, that long of a reading. I mean, that long of pondering. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me let me amplify on the energy a little bit. From what I'm picking up, this is women. Women who are kindred spirits. Your ancestry. They are all kindred spirits. connecting you're connecting with your family through other kindred spirits there's something like that because the roots is on the this woman figure this grandmother figure or the kindred spirits are like spirited just like the women that came before you and your family and you relate to them it's sentimental and y'all bond better because you connected with the bond you had with the women be that came before you, like your grandparents, your mother, great aunts, uh, great grandmothers, and things like that. And it's something about these people connects you with your ancestors. Something like that. Deeply spiritual. Because you have the owl here. Change. Tell me about change. Give me like two, one. Oops. Okay. Let's just pull out of here the star the star is about healing and optimism change they kind of look alike the two women, the star and then you have on the bottom five of wands, I get it you want the conflict to stop you want the, the chaos in your family to, to stop you want to heal from that you're trying to heal from it but I feel like as you're healing and propelling forward, it's like, you know how the ego, you know how they say it takes 21 to 30 days to make or break a habit. So I'm feeling like it's been longer than that for you, obviously. But what I'm feeling like is you're you're breaking generational curses, but your mind is programmed to, to experience certain things. Like you were always spiritually connected to the people, even if they came in chaos, your family. Like this is a spiritual warfare because the five of wands represents a lot of like jealousy, competition, gossip, 
like you were prone to that for so long that you healing yourself, you're healing a, a lineage. You're healing a lot of people through healing yourself. And I feel like you're at the point where you don't even care if you speak to the people, you just want to heal the issue. Star is like Aquarius energy, that's fixed energy. It's like, I don't care how it started. I just need to fix it for the sake of myself and my family. My family deserves better. It's just, I'm not getting all these intuitive hits to just stand by. I need something has to change. And Aquarius is radical about change. Uranus, Uranus, Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. Uranus represents radical change. So rapid at a rapid pace, you are progressing with this butterfly here. You're, you transformed a lot of issues and it may require you to leave your family behind for now, but I don't even think if you look at the people, they're not even paying attention. They're just in a ball of chaos, but you got out of that somehow. And it's healing. It's something about your great aunt, great grandmother, okay, that is working with you and connecting with you through this change. It's like you can, you didn't even hear, like she's been there the whole time, but you didn't realize it because you were in this chaos, the energy of this chaos. Even if you're not starting trouble, it's just you are still connected to people with that energy. So that energy rubbed off on you and you weren't at peace. What's kindred spirits? I think star would be the overall energy and the challenge of it is the five of wands. Kindred spirits. Queen of Pentacles. Yes, the value of your relationship. You value your friendships. You value your relationships. You come as a valued friend, a valued sister love it doesn't matter you come that way and you appreciate you're very appreciative of people who come that way too knight of cups so yeah you're done with manipulative energy and emotionally manipulative clingy obsessive possessive behavior it's just over the top completely unnecessary not gonna happen you're too solid for that Cards are flipped over. You're attracting kindred spirits now. I think you completed a karmic cycle. You had to with the way this looks. Change. Now you welcome change. But are you really welcoming change or are you missing the chaos? Like, what is this about? Let me see. Give me one for change. Innocent. You're protecting your children and the inner child in you. You're doing it the way your grandmother did it, is what I heard. Three of Wands. It's tyranny, it's bad attitude. Your kids have bad attitudes. The moon, the secret is out. Somebody has ill mannered children. You might have ill-mannered children. Sure, my children might be a little ill-mannered right now. But what's threatening their innocence? Like, what is it? It's something that's threatening their... It's something that's, that's attached to innocent children, very small children. And it's, some, it's this Three of Wands. So this Three of Wands to me represents a gen or some kind of attachment that's trying to attach itself to... The innocence. They need that energy. They need that pure and that that the babies. That's unfortunate, but that's what it is. Okay. And you, you're speeding up. I hear Titanic. Remember when they sped up the um they they lit the last boiler to speed up to make headlines. Now you're not gonna hit an iceberg. I hope not. Meaning it's chaos. Okay, it's not going to cause, I don't know if it's going to cause chaos for you, but I see things are moving at a rapid space with Uranus energy, the star energy, hopeful, optimism, healing, just healing, family trauma. You're healing children. I keep, that's a repeating message. And the moon 
in reverse and the three of wands is in reverse so it's being exposed it's about to be exposed who sent that nasty energy to your family to your sanctuary uh-huh now we're getting somewhere okay change someone wanted to change the dynamic of your progress for the worst but in the same breath and the same token of them doing that you changed for the better so it made you more stronger so it wasn't able to stick whatever was sent your way but your children those babies if you could just hug and kiss them the way your grandmother used to hug and kiss you this is similar to what you might have went through as a child chaos or had attach, you know, had to ward off attachments. This is somebody who's been, who's known to be deeply spiritual since a young toddler. With the innocence card here, like these are very small children. Okay, and it's relatable. It's like the same thing is happening over again. So now you're at the space, the point in space in life where it's like, how can I break that? I'm breaking that 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 cycle. We're not going to keep perpetuating the same experience. It was true. It was scary enough the first time. I'm not gonna have my children go through that, but the way your ancestors and grandmothers, great-grandmothers, mothers showed up for you, all the mother figures, how they showed up for you. They they gave you that love. They knew, they knew it was something special about you. They knew it was something different about you. They knew you can see things past the realm. It's like, where do you think you got it from? There you go. That's what I heard. Where do you think you get it from? That's how. That's why I know how to take care of you. And you got it on this. And now your children are going through it. That's what you have it for. To be a healer. So heal your children. What else about kindred spirits? Balance. Yeah, you got nothing like a healthy relationship. Okay, it's nothing like that. where you can talk kindly to each other and it don't be a, a cheesy thing. It's not cringeworthy. It's not cliche. It's a beautiful thing. It's like being outside in the summer with all the trees and the flowers blossoming. It's that kind of vibe. It's real beautiful, like the, the most, the sunniest of days. That's your everyday life. You're not really rocking with this seducer, this this emotional manipulator, this charmer who means no good to you. Who is this Knight of Cups in reverse? That's who sent the chaos to make your family look bad. You make the you make the people look bad. You're trying to make the children look bad. The children are innocent. Who is this Knight of Cups in reverse? They tried to pass themselves off as a kindred spirit to you, but really they was passing off some nasty stuff to you. I feel like you caught it in time, though. Or you need to catch it. Catch it before it's, while it's, before it causes, you know, it's causing damage. Before it is, it's, start doing damage control. That's what it is. Rockin' in the treetop all day long. Please sing my song. What's the song Rockin' Robin? Rockin' Robin. Tweet, tweet, communication. You're getting something. You're on to something, okay? Now you got the Nine of Swords in reverse. This is either one of two things. You're too intelligent to stress and worry about it, to take that frantic state of mind or just not sleep and be... Stress is a silent killer, okay? If you let this this Knight of Cups in your space, it's gonna be trouble, okay? It's like deep wounded trouble. You're gonna to start to inherit all the unhealed issues of this Knight of Cups in reverse. This is a master manipulator, okay? Phoenix rising, that's the path you're on, okay? Illumination. Okay, you are a, a gen slayer because you have balance. So you're not mentally tipsy-topsy, 
or emotionally tipsy topsy. You're solid. You're the queen of pinnacles. Good mother, good homemaker, good worker. You work hard. Like you work, you work, you st you're stable. You have stability as a blessing. It's a blessing because you earned it. You know, you that stability is not given. Like respect is not given. You have to earn it. Yeah, you shed light on what's trying to be done in the dark. Like, who did this? Like, somebody who don't know any better, who is emotionally stumped. This is a, a real jerk. Nine of Swords is somebody who stresses and worries in the upright. Okay? This is somebody who tried to lay it on real thick. With this Knight of Cups in reverse, it's like, you're too intelligent, first of all. And you're too solid. So that didn't work. But they tried to lay it on thick. Now tell me more about the Nine of Swords. Yeah, it didn't work. Nine of Pentacles. There's no fruit bearing from the seeds that they planted. It's just a bunch of weeds tumbling in the grass, like tumbling in the wind. That's not harvest crop. Oh, they tried. That was like greedy, materialistic trying to affect your health more more than they trying to take your wealth but what was attempted was to knock you so was to imbalance you you know to, to, to mess your health up as a as a manipulation to come in but this is exposure with the moon in reverse three of wands is a tyrant you know that's a that's an, a, a supernatural energy and it's too close to your children because it's on top of the, the innocence card with the children. Or this could be a gen that's, that this person's carrying around since they were children. Yikes. And you're the slayer. They come into you. You tend to attract people who need your help. With this family card and these roots on this woman. And how she's hugging her, her loved one. You are attracted. And your children need you. That's one one reality of, of that card the other reality is someone needs your help i don't think I don't, it's not likely you're available to help them because they mess things up with this nine of pentacles in reverse knight of cups in reverse nine of swords in reverse the moon is in reverse the five of wands is in the upright the three of wands is in reverse. The only thing that's in the up right here is the star, the sun, and the queen of pentacles. And the five of wands. Yeah, you dodged a bullet. You don't have time for no shapeshifters. While you're trying to raise a family. It was very irresponsible of this person or persons. Like, they was impatient. They didn't think straight. They made a hasty move and... Now they pay for it. They try to take your innocence. Try to make you look bad. Or really just make you feel bad. This is feeling bad and thinking negatively about yourself. This is devil energy. But somehow you warded it off. What else? Patience. That's a gift. See, the three of wands in the upright will represent patience. And that's a baby. As it turns out, they couldn't take anything from you. If anything, you have more patience that came out of this. You came up, they went down. That's what this illumination is about. nurturing compassionate this is why they're even coming your way in the first place it may come off very toxic what i'm getting is it comes off like craziness and chaos but they really just need your help they need your love they need your nurturing they need your compassion they need your empathy they need your patience They need to make peace with, with you. They need to learn how to make peace with themselves the way you make peace. You're setting an example. And even if it's coming off some type of a way, they want to heal. 
They want to heal deep-rooted family trauma. They want to heal themselves like you. They want to be like you and not in a, a, a JoJo kind of way, not like a, a kiss and butt kind of way. They they see you in a different light now and they want to, they want your help. That's what I'm getting. Patience. They don't know how to, it's not that they don't know how to say it. It's just, they coming off in a way that really just screams. It's like, you can see things that most people can't. So to you, you see everything that or most things that's that's are that are blockages like they're mentally blocked emotionally blocked and you know their health is not right their health is bad like you can see that about the person but it may pose a threat to to the innocence that's in your life the vulnerabilities in your life that's your abundance it will cost you too much if you try to help them children I think your children are up to something <laughs> on the bottom is a strength in reverse that's vile and unintegral your kids what what's that what is that six of pinnacle something selfish they stole something somebody stole something out of greed uh-huh that's a child page of coins somebody's going down the wrong path your children they got some secrets that's about to be exposed there's a reason they're guilty that's why they're there they might be in that's why they're acting real chaotic or mean-spirited they did something that you're going to find out about and you're going to have to heal them through it as it as they may be disciplined for what they did or reprimanded for what they did but they're about to be exposed they're doing something in secret strength part on the bottom they're trying to break down your resistance because they want something they're trying to take something this is not reciprocity and the upright six of coins is re reciprocity but this is unrequited and strategic and they put a lot of thought into this they were they're like very focused on something they're trying to accomplish Whatever it is, it's going to threaten their innocence. They won't be innocent very long if they get away with doing things like that and keep doing stuff like that. So what does it have to do with grace? It could be a fall from grace. Or you're going to have to remain graceful so that you can help them, easily help them. that you're being called to connect look at your children in the eyes to see through their heart okay tap into your children's gifts and qualities and abilities okay it's not that bad that's what I'm getting from this grace it's not too bad but tap into look your children through their spirit look in their eyes look at their spirit because you have to remind them that it's not as bad as you think. You don't have to do this. You're going about this the wrong way. And it just kind of humbles them. It makes them, remind them to be grateful. That's what I'm getting from this. Remind your kids to be grateful. Okay? They have way more than what they can count. That's what I'm being told. With the Queen of Cups, patience. You preserve your kids' innocence. And there's kindred spirit change. Times have changed, but your children, like the abundance that your children know themselves to have, it, it, it's not going to change. That's just, it's not as bad as they think. They think 
the change is for the worse. They don't understand the spiritual evolution and what's going to come out of that change. And connect with your children through grace. It's like a loving, it's like love. It's an um, element of love and, and it keeps you connected with them while they work through these, this journey. Because they're on a journey too. Okay. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Be patient. You have patience. So you're going to get through this. It's not that dark. Okay. Until next time.